my beautiful guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Julia, and today I'm going to be reviewing my friend Kiku's graphic novel, This Placement. Uh, this came out on Tuesday, August 18th. I've been wanting to read it for ages and ages. I am a patron of Kiku's on Patreon, so I've seen some of these pages before anyone else when she was doing uh, live streams of the ink art. I've been following Kiku since she was a fan artist for Pacific Rim, way back in, I think like 2015, and I've had the chance to meet her at several comic book conventions in the area. Hopefully someday, when quarantine's over, we'll be able to meet and I'll get her to sign my copy. I was so excited to read a graphic novel by her because I love her art style, but also I would have bought this book even if I hadn't known her just because of the subject matter. It is something that I've really been doing my research on in the past few years. I've read quite a few books about Japanese American concentration camp, so that is what this book is about. It is a semi-autobiographical with magical realism graphic novel about the author Kiku as a 16-year-old. She keeps getting pulled back in time to when her grandmother and great-grandparents were interned in a Japanese American concentration camp during World War II. She calls this time travel displacements, so it's a displacement in time and also a displacement in space that her family was forced to undergo by the American government. When she returns to her present day, she and her mom explore this cultural memory and trauma together, and also attend protests against Trump's Muslim ban and immigrant detention centers. In short, I loved it. It is beautiful both in the art and the story itself. Here is Kiku at her grandmother's violin recital. Oh, there's the kids. The character Kiku makes such heartfelt connections, both with her older roommate Aiko Mitsune and also her love interest Mei Ide, whose kiss I flipped through on accident. Yes, it's queer. And it's not made a big deal out of, which is really neat. There's even a section where she and Mei get to dance together at a school dance. So it's not a big theme of the book, but it is just a, an accepted part of Kiku's character. The themes of generational trauma and memory are so powerful. They're two sides of the same coin, both negative and positive, and something that Kiku gets to explore, not just by herself, but with her mother in a section that I think is one of the most powerful of the book. My one critique is that I wish Kiku had more agency in the story. She's really just an observer of history when she's pulled into the past against her will, and she cannot nor does she change anything. At the same time, the physical act of displacement is something that is against someone's will, but I wish she had more of an impact on the people around her. All in all, this is a wonderful book that I think will be enjoyed by many and, dare I say, studied in schools. Please support Kiku by buying it. I will link down below to non-Amazon links or order it through your local indie bookstore. If you read this book, please let me know your thoughts down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Bye!